Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Pretty in Pink. So today we're going to be making a body scrub with just a few simple ingredients and the first ingredient is going to be this bath silk with Epsom salts that I got from the Dollar Tree. We also have this baby oil by Dove and it's all natural, there's no parabens or mineral oil. I'll tell you why mineral oil is bad in a second but I also have this little bottle of mineral oil that I just want to get rid of so I'm going to use that as well. We also have some ground turmeric and we have some lemon juice. So we're just going to get right to it. Obviously, our first ingredient that we're going to start with is going to be our Epsom salt. Um, if you look and see how fine these particles are, they're so much finer than regular salt, so I feel like that'll give a more gentle exfoliation. And if you think that's a lot of salt that I'm putting, it's because the jar that we're putting it into, which I got from the Dollar Tree, is pretty big. So I'm going to be using a lot of the salt today for our body scrub. Um, here you see me putting in that mineral oil. Uh, that I want to get rid of. The reason mineral oil is bad, it's pretty bad for acne prone skin because it, um, oh gosh, I'm blanking. Oh, because it traps in sweat and bacteria, which can clog the pores. So you want to be careful with the mineral oil. Usually you want to use a nice natural oil, like olive oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, rapeseed oil, or is it rapeseed oil? I'm not sure. Uh, you don't really want to use vegetable oil or canola oil because they don't really have any health benefits and they don't feel quite as nice. So right now you just saw me put in turmeric and actually you're going to see me put in a lot more turmeric. That's because turmeric actually inhibits the production of melanin which helps it to lighten hyperpigmentation. It helps with psoriasis and eczema. It's also antibacterial and antiseptic which means it can help stop the growth of acne causing bacteria. It's anti-inflammatory which gives your skin a nice glow. It also fights dark circles and it blocks elastase, which basically allows it to prevent premature aging. So right now you see the lemon juice fizzing up. It's just reacting with the Epsom salt. That won't normally happen if you use regular salt. But speaking of lemon juice, let's talk about the benefits of lemon juice. It has vitamin C, it's an antioxidant, and it's a brightening agent. It has acidic properties, which makes it astringent. And astringent just means that it's able to, it makes the skin cells tighten and it makes other tissues tighten. So by allowing it to tighten, it's able to reduce inflammation, which helps it reduce oil production. By reducing excess oil, it helps pre uh, prevent oily skin. And because of its lightening or lightening or brightening agent, it'll gradually fade away blemishes and even out your skin tone. So before I get into my lengthy speech about the benefits of the oils we're putting in the scrub, I'd love to talk about the salt. It seems basic, but it's actually very important. So through the exfoliative nature of the salt, it's able to remove dead skin cells, but also through the osmotic actions of the salt, it's able to draw out dirt and oil as well as absorb toxins and it helps improve pore size which I think is amazing. Now here you just see me feeling to make sure that this scrub it has the perfect amount of salt and oil and you do see a little stain on my fingers that's the turmeric that's natural especially because I put a ton of turmeric because I really want to fight against that hyperpigmentation. Um, I was pretty okay with the consistency, but I'm a little dramatic, so I am going to add just a little bit more oil, literally a little bit. Look at that little drop that I add. So dramatic. But I'm happy that I added the oil because this oil had rapeseed oil, rapeseed oil in it, coconut oil, and sweet almond oil. So some benefits of rapeseed oil or rapeseed oil is that it moisturizes the skin because it has essential fatty acids, omega-3, 6, and 9. Coconut oil, we all know about that, but a couple of the benefits are that it hydrates the skin, it smooths the skin, and it calms redness in the skin. And then for sweet almond oil, uh, it has vitamin E within it. It's able to protect the skin from UV radiation. It also has fatty acids and helps irritated or chapped skin. So now, of course, I'm just putting the scrub into our container for storage. But actually, while I was putting it in, I realized that I had not added any scent. So you're about to see me dump it all out because I need to add a fragrance oil. And you'll see what fragrance I chose in a second. So this is Better Homes and Gardens 
lavender and lemonade fragrance oil it smells so good and i didn't count how many drops i just put enough until the concoction started to smell like it so i don't know how many drops it is i didn't measure anything for this as you can tell but it's pretty simple it's pretty cut and dry i promise you you'll be able to figure it out and also it's to your taste if you like your scrubs to be a little drier you know put less oil if you like it to be quite wet put more oil but you have to be careful as well because this is salt or sugar if you're using sugar um, so you don't want it to dissolve right so you don't want too much oil or too much lemon juice and so now here I am putting it all back into the container and you're just gonna watch me do that for a little while and then I'm just gonna label it Of course, after all of this, it's very important for me to clean up my area, so you're just going to see me cleaning up, closing everything, and arranging everything before I get to the final steps of this scrub. You see me putting on a lid, and I'm soon about to make a nice little label for it. After making the label, I just found a place to put it. I know you're probably like, it's a square. You can put it on any side. But for some reason, I wanted it to be on this side. I have no idea. Then afterwards, I did want it to be a little waterproof. So I'm putting some duct tape, on t clear duct tape on top. Because this will be sitting near my bathroom. So if any water gets on it, I don't want any water to ruin the label. Um, the reason there was such a big pause is because I forgot to bring my scissors. So I had to go get my scissors. I cut this in a length that I thought was long enough, but turned out it was too short. I don't know how I messed up literally the easiest part of all of this, so you're going to see me cover half of it in tape, then I have to cut some of it off and then add some more tape on top of it. I don't know how I messed it up, but I did, <laughs> so <laughs> there you have it. Oh, real quickly, as for uses for this, I personally will not be using this on my whole body. I will be using it uh, to focus on my knees, my elbows, my underarms, and my bikini line. And I think that this amount will go a long way if you're just focusing on specific areas. As opposed to if I had to use this for my whole body, this would probably last me like a week. <laughs> so, whatever you use it for, I hope you guys enjoy this scrub. And there you have it, a super easy turmeric scrub to help your skin. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, please give me a like and a subscribe. Bye!